Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my... <laughs> no, no. Easy way to create a beautiful packaging for your small gifts maybe. Maybe for cash, maybe for jewelry, maybe for sweets. Uh, you can really use it for anything you wish. I hope you will join me for today's crafting session and I hope it will, insp it will inspire you to make your own. <laughs> To start off, uh, we need a little bit of help and I have this download prepared for you. You can find it on my blog and I'm gonna include a link to this blog post uh, in the comment section below this video. It's gonna be a first comment under the video, so have a look, check it. What you have to do is simply download this to your uh, computer, the laptop, and print it. That's it. Uh, other things that we will need today, and this is how it's gonna be print, then we're gonna have to cut it, of course, with scissors. What else are you gonna need today? You're gonna need scissors, you're gonna need some ruler, you may want to have this kind of a bone thing, uh, or this thing, it's for embossing as well, something that will um, make uh, um, even, even you know, even the back of my, of my, of this uh, thing will work. Something, even, even pencil if we have to, not so sharp pencil. Um, pencil as well we will need and maybe you're gonna need sharpener. Uh, so how to start? Where are we starting to make those cute little boxes? I think they're extremely cute, super easy to make, very cheap. And what I like about this idea is that you can use actually papers that not necessarily you like. Maybe they're way too busy for cards. Maybe you got this paper like three years ago, five years ago, and you kept it and you have it and you don't know what to do with it. Your style has changed, but you kept the papers because we hoarders. Of course, hands up who isn't. No, hands up who is. <laughs> so this is a great way to use your stash this time. Now, another important thing is that your paper must be pretty thick. I mean, let me check how thick is the paper I'm using here. Uh, this one is actually 2 GSM. So 2 GSM will be good. Uh, I have some paper from Lidl as well. And this is where I use it. And you know, just use what you think you may not use for your cards. And have it thick enough because we will, you, you need your box to be sturdy, sturdy enough. You see, it's like a little cardboardish thing. So. Let's start, let's do it. Once you download and print your sketch for our pillow box, you need to cut it. Once you have it cut, you need to pick your paper. And I have picked my papers here and I already made a drawing, but I'm gonna do it again with you. So. Uh, a little tip for you, I think it's just nice, <laughs> uh, being a little ch cheating a little bit. Uh, already uh, put your uh, one side of your um, sketch to the edge, so you don't have to cut it basically. So that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to put it at the edge, so this part I don't have to cut. That's that's kind of easy, isn't it? Now, important thing is to make few dots, because this is when our middle will be. So dot here, dot here, this is where the uh, where the where we will be doing this line that we're not gonna cut it but we're gonna make it for for bending or bending line I call it. I actually cannot remember English how to call it professionally in craft world I don't know how to call it. Let's call it the bending line. So this is gonna be this is where we're gonna bend our paper this is a bending line, this is bending line, and those floppy sides are going to be bending as well. So let's draw it. I know maybe this seems to be super pr simple for many, but I know that kids are watching us as well. And hello, hello to all the kiddos that are watching us, because I know that even Emily's friends are watching my YouTube channel. So hello, hello you guys, uh, hello kiddos, of course not only, but... Uh, this is such a great uh, way for kids to um, pack gifts for parents if they make some. So I think just a nice way. Uh, there we go. So this is where we put, uh, where the bending line is. A dot, a dot, same for here and same for here. So this is what we should have right now. Next step is to take our uh, ruler 
and go with our ruler where the middle is and the middle is here and now again it will be precise enough but don't stress yourself if it's not super straight or something it's okay now it would be good to have a pretty sharp uh, pencil so this is what we have right now line in the middle right same for this one this is the floppy part this is the this is the part when we will be bending and to glue it down so this has to be uh, the bending as well so I'm gonna just do the line that is not full it's the lack of English I'm sorry it's bad it's like a, a, a liney line <laughs> line with lines okay now a little trick for you and I'm gonna help you how to do it um, so you already cut this one right from your printout so now how are we gonna actually do the the the, the wings how are we gonna do it well I have a little bit of an idea for you actually what you could do is you are going like this so look you, you have it like that uh, I'm gonna bring it closer so you will see it better like this and oh there we go I hope you can see it well yes so this is how we have it front to this but how to do those floppy flops sides well not easy but I have a little trick for you move it to the side and where your dot and dot is here you can put it this dot uh, roughly guys don't stress yourself it will be fine you see roughly it meets here roughly it meets here so you can go around with your pencil and then with your tool then with your tool go on go on so we perforating no what are we doing we are this is gonna be the bending part there we go so when I go turn around you can probably nearly see no you can't but I can and um, so this is like um, we didn't cut it but we made like a scratch kind of thing I should get I should be more prepared for this video and know how to call it in English but I don't so it's okay uh -huh. so this is again what we have I move to that side and maybe swap for a bigger one if you don't have this tool what else will work let me see what else would work uh -huh. now I'm gonna be repeating the process here because I would like to make sure that this is done well that the, the line will be good for bending and we're gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side so so we have it like that move it to the side meet with your meet with your uh, with your with your uh, oh, can you hear Hannah <laughs> she got up now roughly it, it doesn't look like perfectos to me here that's okay relax don't stress about it it's fine so this is where the line is roughly it, if you feel that this is too small swap maybe the side maybe see if this will work possibly this will be better this side so I'm gonna repeat that one and go back with my tool this is for jewelry tool or for dot making for um, stone painting all kinds of things you can do with this tool <laughs> again if you don't have it I'm gonna I have tweezers I'll see if the the back of the tweezers for example would work so let me grab this again see where's my middle again so you see I'm trying to match this oh you don't see much here roughly so I'm looking at the those those line and the, those dots at the top I think this is pretty oops pretty good so I'm gonna go like that and I'll try the tweezers I think this will work guys the back of the tweezers it's working I think it does maybe not easy but possible very possible there we go it it worked I think it worked now other two la left to be done for uh, with our um, with our 
bending lines, it's the middle part. I'm going to use tweezers again to see if this will work. And of course, it would be good to make your lines and drawings inside the paper, not outside where the design is. That's pretty obvious, but maybe I better to repeat it, to say it. <laughs> okay, now, I promise you, once you have a hang on it, it's so easy. And it's such a, again, rewarding little project. I didn't work with ruler and pencil for ages. I can't remember when was when I was doing album probably. So now, uh, what we have left is to, f to cut it basically. Uh, let me just fix the camera so you can see it properly. Ah, uh, come on, come on, come on. I think that's it. So now it's time to, f to cut it. So let's do that. Now, what can you use this for as in what kind of gifts you're gonna um, you can put there? I tell you, you asked me for handmade gift ideas and I have few. So I thought that before I do the gifts, I'm gonna show you how to pack them because we will be doing few gifts and when I have my packaging done, it will be nice to pack it. So my ideas for handmade gifts will be posted later. So keep on checking the channel because there will be things for you waiting for you as you've asked. Uh, so this will be, some of them will beautifully, uh, will be packed packed nicely in this uh, gift pillow box. So that looks good to me. And I'm sure you can buy them ready-made but as, as many things. But this is such a nice way to make something for something yourself, you know, and just use your stash as well. I think that's very important. So that's what we have, which is awesome. Now, next thing is to bend our floppy part and the middle part. That's the two pieces we're gonna bend only at this point. And we're gonna make sure that we're gonna glue it down. You can use glue, you can use double-sided tape. I'm gonna use glue gun because I like that and that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna be quickly closing it there we go perfect so it is super perfect you should have like a like like this kind of thing right tick, tick, tick. so what's next well the easiest and the nicest part we're gonna bend since we have the lines made, we're gonna bend our um, sides. Take your time, take your time, it will work. There we go. Ah, so pretty. Now, look where is your back, where is your front, so this will be first to bend. And I use tweezers in some, I can't remember which. So I'll hope that this will all together work. Maybe this was the tweezer one, possibly. No, but it worked. Okay, it worked. Make sure you, if, if you know, if you have enough, you have to, you have to have like those uh, lines, perforated lines, or whichever. You have to have them done properly, you know. So it will be easier to bend it, and voila, the box is ready. I think it looks pretty much uh, like ready bought, if not better, because we will decorate it. Uh, our own way. Before I do that, let me quickly do one more box with you so you will see how to do it. I'm gonna be much faster this time uh, but I'm gonna repeat the process in case I say it something differently. I Maybe I'll change the technique and I can't remember, I don't know about it so let's do it. I'm using this side so I don't have to cut that part uh, so I'm very much precise here when it comes to when it comes to uh, the side, precise here, and I'm taking my pencil. I'm going, making sure this is my middle here, line there again. I'm making sure I have line here, where is the the the, the side for sticking and gluing. Middle part here, and going yet again around here, and we're gonna do it here. A dot there, and. And a line there. And voila, that's what we have right now. The other thing now is to do the middle part. The middle part. Uh, our next step is to 
where uh, to check where is our middle now when you make more boxes uh, like I did in in the meantime uh, you don't need the line anymore because you can straight away go with your tool and just make the the line for the middle where we're gonna bend for the, the bending line that you will do I'm sure that you will correct me what kind of line that is <laughs> Uh, I can't remember the words that you use bending line that will do so we have two bending lines and oh yes just for you to see it better uh, so this is what we have now two bending lines the middle one and the one that we flopping for the closing and now we have to concentrate on making the sides again so put it together uh, one on top of another find your little little holes and go with your tool around go around go around now same for if you feel like you need a different sometimes I think somehow it happens that I need a bigger one or uh, on top even, even though it should be the smaller one I don't know why but that's how it is so see which one works better for you that's not very precise but that's perfectly fine as well uh huh. Okay, we have the dot to dot, the the lines where they meet, and I'm using my tool. Sorry for all the farm noises. It's happy cow. We found happy cow. It was <laughs> it was hidden somewhere for a long time. Hannah found happy cow and she's playing with it. Yeah, happy song and happy cow. At least it's not a jingle bells all the time. <laughs> not yet, anyway. Uh huh. So that's what we have. We have our sides done. We have the middles, and now time to cut it. As you can see, I decorated the boxes a little bit with my with the ribbons. Probably ribbons are the cutest, and they just work the nicest way, I think. So I'm gonna cut cut that. I think we have two different toys going on with the no music now, so sorry for that, <laughs> if you couldn't hear me, but Hannah is playing along, at least I can record, because she's a very happy cow, <laughs> happy little baby, we're gonna have a dinner in a minute, so I'm gonna have to feed her, but for now she's happy, so I finish off the video, I hope. <laughs> Uh, this one is my second video today, I think. It's nice to make two, three videos in a day, so I don't feel bad for going to the studio on a daily basis to record, but go make a video, few videos in one go. Sometimes it rarely happens, usually it's, I'm not that lucky, but today it's my second video and I planned one more, actually, a teenager a gift idea so I hope you will stay in tune for my channel for the Christmas time because I have few ideas that I wrote down and I hope to share it with you budget ideas um, and just easy DIY uh, yeah I, I like them I hope they will turn out nice okay so we gluing this down this was fast now you have this lovely jovely thing and start bending on your bending lines and you can go here as well you can you have to say it's very easy now easy and very effective as well what you could put there sweets imagine that you have maybe a teen, many neighbors um, kids neighbors that you not necessarily can spend and afford fortune for their gifts but maybe box like that with sweets inside lollipops chocolate uh, there's plenty sweets that you can buy for nice money I'm sure in every country well most countries I shouldn't be saying in every but uh, you know some nice little uh, like little santis little um, coins that are chocolate really so you can put it there you can put jewelry you can put tiny perfumes little soaps maybe that you handmade plenty plenty ideas I think that you can put it in there money you can put money there as well if you wish so how we can actually decorate uh, those boxes I have this uh, lovely die cut um, from a friend I think this could be super cute here don't you think
I think I found something cute as well, stickers. Um, yet again we have probably many of this kind of embellishments that we maybe purchase but not necessarily use it anymore. I don't know, I'm just guessing. That's what happens with us crafters, we just change our, uh, change what we like maybe. So yeah, here we go. And we can add maybe this little Santi as well. Maybe I could swap it to the side or this side and the Santi could be, yeah, I like that now. And the Santi could be there on the side as well. So, let's see. Super cute, isn't it? Now we have another stickers here that I love. It's this little penguin. Maybe maybe actually something brighter because it's very dark box so maybe now have a look where's your front where's your back so when you open it like that this would be kind of like your front so it'd be nicer to have your um, your front decoration when the opening is like that on top I think same for here if you try to open it it will be here so it's nice I think like that um, let me see something else. What about this cute little Christmas tree? Maybe this would look nice. Ah, oh, why not? Oh, it could be like that. But maybe I'm going to add... Oh, I think I can hear someone. Maybe I could add the pomponi thing here. Uh-huh. Like here. On the side. I think it will be nice. Let me see. Uh, Hiba, I said in Polish, probably, Hannah heard me, <laughs> but, uh, that someone is in the studio and she's not really included, and how is that possible? <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm gonna add some pomponi. Now, of course, you know, you could use some... <laughs> Well, I think I'm gonna have to take her here. You could use some lace, you could use anything you have in your studio, guys. This is only what I'm suggesting you in, t in, in terms of ideas, you know. But I'm sure that you have plenty similar different things. And use what you have around, you know, maybe some chipboards as well you could add, maybe some string. There is so many ways and there is no good or bad way. Everything is allowed because it's your art, it's your time, your idea, so do it your way. I'm only here to help and guide you a little bit and I hope that this is actually something super helpful because I love pillow boxes and I think that this is such a nice small way to uh, gift something and not feel you know how cute is that and you don't necessarily make anyone feel bad about it that you are gifting them something small I think oh there we go and we could add some stars maybe as well why not since we have them here we may do that that's very pretty <laughs> now I have some what about if I add... No, that would be too much, I think. I love this one. The best, my little Santi. This, I think... It's... I think it's... Let me see. I think it's something that doesn't speak to me. Let me see if I can find something better for that. It's a very dark... You see, it's a very dark... Uh, um, and specific color. Maybe that's why. Let's see. I'm gonna see if I can... Yeah, I think so. Something else. And look what I found. Those are Christmas decorations from uh, last year. Again, I bought them in Lidl in discount store. And I think, look, this will be pretty cute. Let me show you. I think that this Christmas tree just did not stand out there that much as I maybe wish for it. Uh, or maybe it's just my imagination. I, but, you know, you have to keep on trying and doing until you're happy with it. That's it. That's my advice. Until you are really truly happy with it. So I'm gonna probably use that for something else. I'm glad that it's possible to take it off without oh, much of a damage. A little damage I've done, but that's okay. You cannot really see it. There we go. Much nicer. I much more prefer that now. 
I think. Oh yes, definitely. It's, you know, something small and... This is the hole that it's there from the... Um, from the... string to hang. So I'm gonna just add this something cute. And... Yeah, and it's gonna be here. I much more prefer that. Now I'm happy. You know me, I don't like to finish off with something that I'm not proud of or happy with. Uh, of course, not always we will be happy, but why not to try and making make it as as perfect or as happy as we can. Voila, I much more prefer that. Maybe this is not the most pretty sticker as well. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> And I have one more box in red, so let's just finish it off. And I'm going to show you how to do bow like that. Uh, very easy, uh, very effective, kind of very professional looking. Oh. Daddy for the rescue. <laughs> Don't worry. There's Daddy in the house. <laughs> okay. Little babies, they do trip and fall off a lot when they learn to walk. She's walking next to the furniture since, I told you that, since a month or more. And it's pretty busy and intense with her to mind her. <laughs> but it's so cute as well at the same time. So, okay. So this is what we have, our box. And we will be... We will, I'm, I'm pretty sure she knows I'm here as well. And she is kind of impatient to... To see you, Mama, I think so. I'm, I'm, I may take her here or so or something. So this is uh, what we have right now, and I'm gonna show you how to how to create this lovely bow. So cut your your um, your um, not string, nah, what you call it, not uh, your 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 ribbon. Cut your ribbon. Now, this is my uh, my back side, so I'm going to add a little glue, my ribbon in the middle, roughly, go around, go around, and add some glue as well in there, and close it down. There we go. So this is how pretty it is in the front. Now we need to make a little bow. You have, you grab your uh, your bow, your uh, the <laughs> ribbon. There we go, like that. And so, get some glue on the bottom, on the one end. There we go. Glue it down like that. Roughly, see how much you need for the second loop around this. Around. I'm not measuring anything. Just roughly. Add some glue in the middle and just around like that just to make it pretty even then we need a little string to go around it if you feel like measure it do like this like this okay roughly like that so this is what we're gonna have like here and even too long a little bit overlapping too much and now the one where we met where the ends met add a little glue like that there we go. Try to find the middle. Go around, around, and glue, and close it down. And your beautiful bow is ready. Then you add a glue, and voila. <laughs> That's it. Got over, which is ready. Got over. <laughs> Got over, ready to go ready to rock and super super pretty there we go you can have a look very uh what's the word very classic looking but also very um uh, uh, what's what's the word i have to think i know elegant elegant that's the word i was missing and we've done. Thank you so much for watching. I'm delighted that we managed to go through so many boxes, so many pretty ideas that you can see. Uh, I hope you like that. I hope you enjoyed it. I have a little guest here to say goodbye with me. Thank you so much for watching, for being here, <laughs> for your comments and for sharing this video with your friends. Uh, I really appreciate all the involvement that uh, that I have from you. So thank you so much. Hannah choose her favorite box. <laughs> uh, 
let's say goodbye properly. She's heavy. She's heavy, heavy uh, on my hands, so it's much. Oh. Oh. <laughs> At least it's finished. Co coffee is finished. No, hello. Thank you so much. I have to go. I have to take the little destroyer from my desk. The little baby cat. Thank you so. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll talk to. You. No hands here, Hannah. Hands here. I'll talk to you super soon. Say bye. Bye. Oh, that's lovely. Light and all. Talk to you soon. Happy crafting. Bye. <laughs>